Hello folks, Dave Schulke, Jim Schulke, we're with TheTwinPlumbers.com. We're here to show you how to solder like a pro. But before you do that, you're going to need four or five essential items. So the first thing you're going to need is an acetylene tank with a torch tip, specifically for copper piping. You're going to need some sand cloth to clean the inside of the fittings as well as the outside of the pipe. And you're going to need a flux brush and a tub of flux to clean the outer and inner walls of the piping fittings. And the last thing and the most important thing is a roll of lead-free solder. Well, I'm going to turn it over here to my brother Dave. And he's going to start the soldering like a pro. Well, you want to go ahead and get yourself some sand cloth. I always like to cut a piece like this. It really depends on the size of the pipe. But right now we're going to go ahead and solder using three-quarter copper type L pipe. What you want to do is make sure you make your cuts properly and get your sand cloth. Wrap it around the outside diameter of the pipe and go ahead and give it about seven to eight turns. By doing so, you'll see a nice shiny finish just like that. Then go ahead and grab your fitting. In this case, it's a, an elbow. I like to use my index finger, insert the sandpaper inside, and then go ahead and clean the inside of the fittings just like this. You want to do both sides. The reason why this is very important is that uh, it will go ahead and adhere to the solder and make your soldering project a lot easier. Once you go ahead and clean, uh, I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of flux. You don't need a lot of this, folks. Make sure you just get enough all the way around, a little bit in the inside. Go ahead and put your fitting on the pipe. Here's the other piece. Again, as you can see, I'm just putting a thin layer on there. Put that together. Make sure that they're all nice and tight okay well once you've finished that step you're ready for the heat and the soldering i like this particular application it makes it easy especially for homeowners you just go ahead and turn it on there's a self-igniting tip see how easy that is if you don't have this you'll need a striker go ahead and get yourself your solder i always like to bend the tip of it have it out about eight, nine inches. One of the things to remember when you're soldering the vertical is take a wet rag and clean first before you solder. Clean around so you don't get the drips once you start soldering. It's a very good point. Probably want to do it a couple of times. You want to heat up the entire fitting and the pipe. Now what I like to do is once you get it nice and warm, go ahead and put your solder on one side and the heat on the other. And you're going to notice how it, uh, the solder adheres and goes all the way around the fitting. Then you get to your other section here. Here at the Twin Plumbers, after we solder, we always like to go around with our flex brush and just give it a nice, clean wipe on both sides. And then take your wet rag, slowly, yeah, you want to just lay it on there to cool it down a little bit before you... There's some plumbers that don't agree with the wet rag, but I've used it for 25 years and it works like a gem. You want to make sure that the flux is completely wiped off because sometimes that could cause a little bit of corrosion in the, in the future. But there you have it, folks. You see how easy that is? The most important step is to warm up the entire area before you apply that solder. Well, again, hopefully this helped. And as always, folks, thanks for, thanks watching. for watching.